Hello, maraming salamat po sa mga pagkain na binigay ninyo. Uh, napakalaking bagay po ito sa amin. Sa mga nangyari ngayon, uh, medyo uh, hindi po kami naabutan ng tulong. Maraming, maraming salamat po. Marami pong salamat sa mga binigay niyong tulong sa amin, lalong lalo na sa mga pastor, uh, tsaka kay Ate Rosal, Donna, Madam, at sa uh, church po natin. Uh, uh, wala pong imposible sa kay God. Uh, nagdasal po ako oras-oras, pagising sa, pagising sa umaga, pagtulog. Yun po yung ginagawa ko. Simula po na umuwi ako. Kasi hindi na po ako nakapag-church. God bless po sa inyong lahat. Thank you po sa Words of Life family. Sa mga binigay niyo pong tulong sa amin. Maraming maraming salamat po. God bless all. Maraming salamat sa Words of Life family. Salamat sa malaking tulong na ginawa niyo. Thank you, thank you. Praise God. Talagang ano, ang bubuti niyo. Papa, magpasalamat ka. Thank you. <laughs> oh, iiyak ka na. <laughs> oh, iiyak na siya. Oh. Salamat. Salamat. Talagang napakabuti niyo. Talagang ano. Hmm. Maayong hapon.
own words of life. Thank God for this another awesome day, another privilege to praise and exalt our almighty God. And to all our viewers out there, thank you for tuning in. We are so happy and blessed that you are with us today. And if it's your first time to be with us, my friend, we want to say welcome and we love that you are here. Share this wonderful experience and message of God to your loved ones by mentioning them on the comment section down below or share this video for them not to miss this wonderful worship experience. So what are we waiting for? Let's gather up all our energy, continue to thank God, and give it all out by singing praise and worship to our King. <laughs> Oh, 
Good morning, Words of Life. What a wonderful day. Let us praise the Lord together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah.
you are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. Your name is worthy. Hallelujah. You 
it like you are love you bring light to the darkness you give hope you restore every heart that is broken Salamat po, Panginoon. Pinasasalamatan ka namin, Panginoon, sa inyong kabutihan, hindi nagmamaliw at hindi kumukupas at magpakailanman, O Diyos. Sambahin ang ngalan mo, purihin ka aming Diyos Ama. Ito po ang aming dalangin sa makapangyariang ngalan po ng inyong buktong na anak, aming Panginoong Heso Kristo. Amen and Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Hello, mayong hapon kanyang tanan and uh, welcome for our service this afternoon. Dakong kalipay na ako nga nakauban ta na sa mo ni ining uh, Adlawa. And uh, dalaygon ang tumbuhi nga Dios because God really sustaining us. Even though uh, ni ining taliwa sa ato ang agiatubang nga mga kalisdanan but uh, God is so faithful sa atong tagsatag sa kakinabuhi. And I praise God nga ni ining kahaponon you're able to join us ni ining uh, Nining a service and uh, pahimutang and then uh, allow God to speak to you diha sa imuhang kinabuhi. And I would like also to uh, welcome you, if, especially na itong mga first-timers. Uh, thank you so much for joining us and uh, welcome home. 
uh, focus no diha sa mensahe sa Ginoo ni ning kahaponon allow not nga ang imong kinabuhi or ikaw karon madisturbo but uh, ina imong katupad nga aya usa ko disturboha okay focus on the word of god this uh, morning pipila lang ka mga announcement ang ako ang uh, ihatag diha kaninyo ni ning kahaponon uh, thank you so much sa tanan nga mga faithful tither and uh, generous giver they has church sa uh, words of life or mock city and uh, sa gihapon uh, kalipay namo usab ang uh, pagdawat sa mao nga mga ikapu ug halad just contact our storehouse ministry care of miss Juvie Maghanoy uh, you can text or call her sa yang contact number nga makita niyo sa screen o kaha you may also deposit sa ato ang video account in our video account number nga nausab sa inyo hang uh, screen and then, uh, I would like also to congratulate sa tanan ng mga graduate class of 2020. They has a church sa uh, Ormoc City and even sa Binabay. Last Sunday, ako na mention na si John o si Dave. This time, I would like to mention also uh, si Angeline Adol, uh, Erica Villaret, uh, Joshua Dayan Dayan, and Diana Hill Grabilio. Congratulations and uh, our prayers that uh, the Lord will continue to uh, bring you the has ayam labing nindot nga plano sa imuhang nga kinabuhi. Just keep believing God. And from our bottoms of our heart, from the words of life for Mok City, congratulations. Gawas ni Ana, kalipay usab nato karon that is to celebrate ni Ining Adlawa. Happy, happy Mother's Day. Labi nasa akong mama, mama Nets. Happy Mother's Day. I love you so much. Doon mga pipila ka mga nanay. Akong i-mention din hi. Si Nana Yuni. Nay, get well soon. The Lord will uh, sustain you and receive the complete healing. Usab diha sa imuhang uh, lawas karon. And of course, ako yung gagaw si Ate Maricel and uh, Daryl uh, Santhi. And also, sab akong mama auntie. O sa tanan ng mga nanay na to sa church, uh, so words of life, sa Ormoc City, sa Binabay, Visayas, Mindanao, sa tanan na mga higala ng mga nanay, happy, happy Mother's Day. Biological mother or kaha mga spiritual mothers, happy Mother's Day. Alright, so uh, let's get into the word this uh, afternoon. I am so much excited, nining uh, kahaponon, to share ye this uh, message, diha kanimo. If you have your Bible with you, we will declare this all together. This is my Bible. All scriptures is given by inspiration of God. This is Holy Word in my life. His Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. This is my sword which the Spirit gives me. This is the bread for my soul. My heart is receptive. My mind will comprehend. And my life is not like before. Every time I read and study my Bible in Jesus' name. Praise God. Once again, thank you so much for joining us uh, this afternoon. Now, we will continue our series ngatong nasugdan last Sunday and for this whole month of May maybe uh, we're going to talk about endurance amid trials. Last Sunday we talked about the, the promise of our heavenly Father every time nga naata sa taliwa sa ato ang uh, kalisdanan. He is so faithful that he will not allow to test us beyond what we can bear. However, in the midst of trials, he provides us a way out for the purpose of endurance, that you will endure. Nga ikaw ako makalahutay. At ang padayon nun, ini nga kahaponon, we have two key verses this afternoon. The first one, the has a Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. The Bible says, Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. By the way, this is the epicenter of our message this afternoon, but I will give you another verse just also to honor our mothers, and I purposely include this verse as well, tungod kay 
haum siya sa ato nga mensahe ni ini nga kahaponon. And it can be found in John chapter 16, 21 to 22. The Bible says, A woman giving birth to a child has pain because her time has come. But when her baby is born, she forgets the anguish because of her joy that a child is born into the world. Verse 22, So with you, now is your time of grief, but I will see you again, and you will rejoice, and no one will take away your joy. Ayun na kalimti, ato nang balikan, karun nga tataod, ato ang pag padayon ni ining kahaponon. So ladies and gentlemen, our message today is face your joy. Just tell your neighbor, face your future joy. Face your future joy. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you. Nini nga kahaponon, salamat gino for gathering us once again. Sa gihapon, Lord, we acknowledge you in our presence. We acknowledge you in our lives. For apart from you, O oh God, indeed we can do nothing. Thank you for sustaining us up to now. Thank you for providing our needs. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you, O oh God, even ginoo sa kusog, imugihatag ka namo. The courage to face every morning. Salamat ginoo nga ikaw ang Dios nga among nailhan o among gialagaran. Nga diha ka nimo ginoo, indeed we could uh, trust and uh, we could hope, O oh God, diha ka nimo. Salamat ginoo nga niining kahaponon as we meditate and study into your word. Lord, salamat nga imong pulong magapanarbaho sa among kinabuhi. O oh, Holy Spirit, continue to speak unto us, to uh, minister our hearts. O salamat, Lord, that you will override with my pre preparation, ini nga kahaponon, that Lord, I will speak, O oh God, not in my own opinion, but Lord, pinaagi gayod sa gahom sa imuhang uh, espiritu. Salamat sa dihog, imong ihatag, ibukbo gino sa matag-usa. Ablihi gino ang among idulungog, ang among matagkasing-kasing, na gino ang imong pulong magabago sa among kinabuhi. Haum gino sa imuhang dagway. Salamat, O oh God, for transforming our lives this afternoon. Father, we commit this time to you. Thank you so much, O oh Lord, that you will, you will teach us this afternoon. We give you praise. We give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Again, what's our message? Face your future joy. Praise God. Now, this message is not just for us to think positive but to hope. And in Jesus, we have our living hope. Three points. Alang kanato nini kahaponon. Future joy helps you to move on. Future joy keeps you in the race. Future joy fuels you thankful endurance. Okay, so, um, very quick review. Last Sunday, as I have said, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, that was our message. And the Bible says that no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out, the purpose, so that you can endure. Now, the Bible gives us information about this. And uh, by giving us reference in the Bible, in the scriptures, seeing people na they were so faithful in the Lord, however, dili sila exempted sa mga kalisdanan. And see yourself right now kung naaka ni ining kasinatian. Example in Hebrews chapter 11, uh, beginning uh, second part of verse 35, the Bible says, There were others who were tortured to death, refusing to be released so that they might gain an even better resurrection. Maybe on the condition of denying Christ or their faith. So some faced jeers and flogging and even chains and imprisonment. Gipang latos pag maayo, gipang gapos, gipang bilanggo, gibugal-bugalan. In verse 37, they were put to death by stoning. They were sawed in two, they were killed by the sword. 
They went about in sheepskins and goatskins, destitute, labihan, kakabos ang ilahang nasinatian, persecuted and mistreated, gipasipadan, pagmaayo, the world was not worthy of them. They wandered in deserts and mountains, living in caves and in holes in the ground. Grabe nga kasinatian ang ilahang uh, natagamtaman ni Adtong Panahuna. And kung atong tanawo ng atong kinabuhi o sabkaroon, maybe some of you wata kasinati ni ini or maybe ikaw usab na aka ni ini. But have hope diha sa ginoo. In verse 39, these were all commended for their faith. In other words, having obtained a good testimony, a good report, sa diha nga ilang nahuman, sa diha nga sila ming lahutay, niining taliwa ng mga pagsula. Yet none of them, I mean these heroes of faith, receive what had been or the fulfillment of promise since God had planned something better for us so that only together with us would they be made perfect. In other words, they're just waiting there, waiting for you and for me and even for the next coming generation. Doon ay mas maayo pa nga plano nga giandam ang ginoo alang sa matag-usa ka nato. In other words, there's something better in the future. In other words, the best days indeed are yet to come for you. Ako nang balikon. The best days are yet to come. Always ahead of you. So in our time today, these heroes of faith are now what they call the cloud of witnesses in chapter 12 of Hebrews. Now this cloud of witnesses those who have, uh, uh, after his example, have proved the strength and genuineness of their faith in Christ by undergoing a violent death. These people are witnesses, cloud of witnesses. They've done their part, they finished well, natapos nila pagmayo, now it is our turn. It's our turn. And Jesus said, as long as it's day, let's work. Now, looking or facing at our future joy, let's obtain good report. Let's obtain good testimony in our lives, in our families, in our community. So point number one, future joy helps you to move on. Future joy helps you to move on. As they said, welcome to this new normal. I think, dili na bag o alang ninyo for the past days, mo na mga nanggawas sa mga balita. Welcome to new normal. And I believe in my heart indeed that God is doing new thing sa atong kinabuhi. God is doing new thing. Wa siya pa matagbaw sa paghimo o mga bagong mga butang diha sa atong kinabuhi. Well, labaw nga kabaguhan na gihimo sa atong kinabuhi at kita na ata ni Kristo, we are new creation. But ni ini nga panahuna nga samtang kita nagapadayon sa unahan, God is also doing new things in our life. He is bringing us into the new season toward this future joy. So I hope that you truly perceive it and learn from the past, you know, and, uh, but don't dwell on, on it. Our future joy help us to move on. Our future joy help us to move on from the past. So, therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great cloud of witnesses, they're waiting for us, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us. Tanan nga mga nakababag. Okay, first, it says, let us lay aside every weight. Literally, it's burden. Our way, tanan nga nakababag ka na to, nga kita makapadayon. Now, all uh, at this point, 
I remember, uh, I remember David that time na siya nakigaway, migawas siya sa ilaha o nakigaway kang Goliath. And uh, sa diha nga ming asdang sila o siya diha nga ming presentar siya sa iyahang kaugalingon nga ni King Saul o siya siya may makigaway, makigatubang ni Goliath. Gisugdan siya o gisugdan siya o pagsulob sa, sa armadura ni King Saul. Um, that's in verse uh, 38 of 1 Samuel 17. Then Saul dressed David in his own tunic. He put a coat of armor on him and a bronze helmet on his head. Pero alang ni David nga nasabda niya nga muda og siya. Nasabda niya that iyahang mapilde si Goliath that time. Siya, dili ko kauswag ni ini, dili ko makigaway gamit ni ini. Tungon alang niya, bugat ang maunga armadura. Though, yes, the context of it, nga wa siya maanad, pero spiritually speaking, na sa atong kinabuhi usab adunay daghang karga-karga sa ato ang kinabuhi and let us be having this attitude like David nga atong ipadaplin atong tangtangon ang tanan ng mga babag nga hinungdan nga dilita makapadayon so unsa man nga mga babag unsa man ning mga bugat nga naa sa ato nga dilita makapadayon ang pagka dili mapasalamaton ang pagka bagulbulan ang pagka uh, dili malipayon ang pagka dili mainantuson all of these are weight nga ang ayan natong ipadaplin aron nga ikaw ug ako makapadayon and then, second, let us lay aside the sin which so easily is near us. Mga sala nga naghawid ka na to. Ang tanan nga mga buta nga wa kahimut is sa ginoo. Ang ayan na to nga ipadaplin usab. Nakahinom dun ko ni Lot o sa iyaha nga asawa. Um, God decided to punish Sodom and Gomorrah. But praise God tungod kay God lead them way nga sila makapalayo sa maong lugar and mao ni nga nahitabo with the coming of dawn the angels urged lot saying hurry take your wife and your two daughters who are here or you will be swept away when the city is punished as soon as had brought them out one of them uh, flee for your lives don't look back that's the word there. Don't look back. Flee for your lives. Don't look back and don't stop anywhere in the plain. Flee to the mountains or you will be swept away. Though apparently si Lot ming request niya na anha lang sila sa duol ng usaka lungsod called Zuar. And also they um, it was granted, no? Kanda nga request. But makita nato din niya that the... That, uh, Instruction was so clear. Flee, don't look back. But we know the story that Lot's wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt. My friend, in our past, there are things that we need not to look back. There are things nga dili nato ang ayan dad o nato sa new normal nga gitawag. Mga butang at dili na ito ang ayan nga i-treasure pa. Especially, kung kini mga butang ha, wa makapahimuot o di makapahimuot diha sa gino. At sad to say, there are a lot of people nga maanugon pa ni ana mga butang ha, the sin that is, which is so easily ensnares us. Si Paul nagdasig ka na to. Mingingon siya, Brothers and sisters, I don't consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. Let's pause for a while. He says, forgetting what is behind. No turning back. Especially on the things nga nakaparalisar diha kanimo. Now, I, again, don't get me wrong. It's good, it's wise to learn the lessons from the past. 
But if those things makaparalisar diha kanimo, the reason nga dili ka ka uswag. Kung ang mao mga butang nakaparalisar diha kanimo, hinungdan nga ikaw dili ka kaabanti sa unahan, says forget it. Okay, kalimte. So I forget what is behind of me. So in other words, mo in moving forward to reach out our future joy, don't waste your time to dwell on your past, even to look back your past. Nga daw murakag na anugun. Okay? Maybe um, ako na sabtan in this quarantine. Siguro doon na kay mga kontrata nga wa madayon. Siguro unta doon na kay opportunity nga pagpanarbaho nga wa madayon. Siguro doon na kay mga schedule sa imong pagkang kasal or unsani nga wa madayon. Okay? But sa ingo si Paul, I forget or what I do, forgetting what is behind. Ladies and gentlemen, don't waste your time to dwell on those times. But like Paul, straining toward what is ahead. As hard as I can to reach the goal before me. Nga makabot na ko akong padayon. Ako naning kamot nga ako makapadayon. Ako nakapadayon nga ako mo uswag sa unahan. Amen. Tungkol I believe God again is doing new things upon our lives. God is bringing us into this new season of our life. Especially if you live a kind of life that does not please and honor God, forget it. Okay? Ayaw na to siya kaanug ni pa. And if there is a place that you need to go back, it's the presence of your father. I remember this son nga uh, usak adlaw na minglayas ilaha, gipangayo ang iyahang bahin, minglayas ilaha, giusik-usikan ang iyahang nga gamit. Then he came to his senses and realized, again siya mubalik ko sa akong tatay. If there is one place nga angayan ni mong balikan, if there is one place nga ngayon ni mong balikan, it's the presence of your Father, of our Heavenly Father. So he got up and went to his Father. Ug makita na ito diha kung giunsa siya pagdawat sa iyan tatay. The Bible says, But while he was still a long way off, his Father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. In other words, bisan tod ug nalayo siya, bisan tod ug nasiparate siya sa iyan tatay, apan ang gugma sa iyan tatay, wa mo undang diha kaniya amen og ang pagbalik diha sa presensya si ang tatay and his the bible says he ran to his son threw his arms around him and kissed him my friend siguro niini nga season do na kay gipanghinayangan okay do na kay do na kay gusto unta nga kabuton pero nahinayangan ka tungod kay nababagan no it's not yet the end God is watching you. Og ang compassion sa Ginoo, ang kaluoy sa Ginoo, ang gugma sa Ginoo. Padayon nga iya hang gipakita og pabati diha kanimo. Balik diha sa presensya sa Dios. Point number 2 that I would like to share to you this afternoon that future joy keeps you in the race. Dili lang nga aron ka muuswag, dili lang aron nga ikaw uh, makapadayon kun dili hinong nga ikaw magapabilin okay keeps you on the race the bible encourage us let us run with endurance the race that is set before us in other words you have this participation here okay uh, the bible says murtag na ata sa lumba sa kinabuhi amen apil ta sa lumba sa kinabuhi o gihauhag ka nga ikaw mudagan nga manggilahutayon with endurance in the race that is set before us. For Paul, he made sure that he will not be disqualified. Forget what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. said, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. 
Siya, ako nagatinguha, ako nagapadayon, ako nagananing kamot. Okay? Wa ko mupuyo sa akong kagahapon. Wa ko mupuyo. In other words, encouragement alas matagos sa kanato nga di ta mupuyo before this crisis happened. Don't stay there. Okay? Don't stay there. Nagapadayon ta and the Lord opened us this door alang sa matagos sa nato. Then, let us run with endurance. Nga manggay lihotayon gayod kita. Ingon si Paul, Do you not know that in the race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? And run in such a way as to get the prize. That's our future joy. Ang tanan na ningkamot, naglumba ang matag-usa, aron makuha ang maunga gasa or maunga ganti. The word ganti, not gasa, sorry. And everyone who competes in the games, the Bible says, goes into strict training for that goal, for that prize. And strict training, my friend, kining at training, dili ni siya sayon. Dili ni hapuhap lang. I could consider myself that I am now in this strict training for that future joy ahead of me. O alang sabdeha ka ni mo. And then, ang tanan na mindaga ni ini para makabot ang maunga gasa, mi pa ilaw ni ining usak ka pagbansay-bansay. O sa ako nang gikaingon, this is not easy. During the time when you are really called strict training, dili lang ni siya pulos katog. Amen. Pukaw ang imong katupad kay nasig natuog na na. Strict training. Nga giandam sa matag usad just to get the prize. So, kanang tanan sa tanang mga athletes daw din hiya, because it's like um, an athlete ang yahag hisgutan, nagaapas sa usak ka purong-purong nga lumalabay lamang Apat ang Biblia, nagsulti ka na to, we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Dili malaos na purong-purong, dili tayon na ganti, dili ma makawat na ganti, pat kini siyang hangtod sa kahangturan. This crown that will last forever is the eternal blessedness na gihatag ka na to as a prize as we continue to serve our God and Christ. Looking to this future joy, the crown that will last forever, unang miingon si Paul, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. Kanang nagdagandagan lang. Kanang namuralag nagjaging-jaging. Kung dili ingon siya, I do not like fight like a boxer beating the air. Kabit naningkamot siya, iyahang gihatagan o dakong bili. Iyang gihatagan o dakong bili ang maong uh, nga kinabuhi, nga naan siya, ang iyahang giapilan, nga lumba, lumba as kinabuhi, nga aron nga dili siya ma-disqualified. He said, I myself will not be disqualified for the price. Ladies and gentlemen, don't allow yourself nga ma-disqualify ka sa ganti. God is so faithful to sustain you. Usa ka tao diha sa Biblia ang panganiya si Nehemiah. Ang iyahang future joy mao ang walls of Jerusalem. Nahibaw niya nga for so many years ang walls of Jerusalem wa pa mabarog pagbalik. So he prayed and decided to rebuild it. He was the answer of his own prayer. Okay? So he prayed and decided nga iyahang i-rebuild, iyahang pabarugon pagbalik ang walls, ang uh, kural sa Jerusalem. So, but in the midst of the reconstruction sa walls sa Jerusalem, doon ay mga oppositions, doon ay mga threats, doon ay ginganlan o sanbalat si Tobeya, the Bible says na kini mga tawhana, gikasuko nila pag maayo ang gihimo ni Nehemiah o sa uban ng mga Israelita to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Ang tanan na pagtamay, tanan na pagbugal-bugal, ilahang uh, nadawat. So opposition started. However, the future joy for Nehemiah ng mo ang wall of Jerusalem, klaro alang niya. Okay? Klaro alang niya, he was not discouraged and he did not stop. 
So instead, in the midst of the opposition, in the midst of these persecutions, he kept himself on the track to finish the work. Now, affected siguro, yes, but as sa niana nga sitwasyon, he approached God. He said, Hear us, our God, for we are despised. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great privilege to call upon His name. He says, Call unto me and I will answer you. That's the promise of our God. So He approached God. Hear us, our God, for we are despised. And since God called Nehemiah to lead the people, sa maong project na ilahang gihimo, God provided a way out not to escape from the situation but to stay in the reconstruction. And in His infinite wisdom, God granted wisdom to Nehemiah. And God also provided people as well. So He said, Then the Jews who lived near then came and told us ten times over, wherever you turn, they will attack us. So therefore, I stationed some of the people behind the lowest points of the wall at the exposed places, posting them by families with their swords, spears, and bows. After I looked things over, I stood up and said to the nobles, the officials, and rest of the people, Don't be afraid of them. Remember the Lord who is great and awesome. And this is God's message for us this morning or this afternoon. Don't be afraid of them. Remember the Lord your God. He is so mighty. He is so great. He is so powerful. He is so faithful. And it says, fight for your families, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your homes. In our don't give up on them. I am not saying a kining atog yatubang karon pahumana. I'm not saying usab nga by uh, sunod nga buwan balik na gintanan. But what I'm saying here nga in spite pa man ni ining giatubang nato ayaw kalimot nga duna kay Dios nga imuhang kadangpan. Duna kay Dios nga imong kadaganan, duna kay Dios nga andam nga mutabang diha kanimo. Stand your ground, my friend. So, and it says he continues, When our enemies heard that we were aware of their plot and that God has frustrated it, we will return, we all return to the world, each to our own work. Oh, come on. Let the enemy hear your declaration of hope. Kana dungga ni nila sa kaaway ni Nehemiah ang ilahang pagdangot ngadto sa Ginoo, ang ilahang deklarasyon sa kadaugan. Gikakuyaw o gikakurat kini sa ilahang mga kaaway. Apan sila nagapadayon. Sila naga trabaho tungod kay nakita nila dili lang ang present situation kung di nakita nila ang pagbarog subli nga pagbarog sa walls of Jerusalem so then I said to the nobles and officials and the rest of the people the work is extensive and spread out and we are widely separated from each other along the wall wherever you hear the sound of the trumpet join us there our God will fight for us what Nehemiah did is a cold strategy God will give us wisdom in spite or in the midst of this crisis that we are facing. God is so faithful. The project was accomplished. I love that. The project was accomplished. Why? Because the work had been done with the help of our God. Iksoon, dili kaya ni mo nga ikaw lang. Dili kaya ni mo nga ikaw lang ang makigbisog. No, you need God. He has the plan for you, plan who is so good. Di has imo hangki na buhi. It's good usab to plans, but still ang plano sa ginoo, ang labing maanindot nga plano sa Dios, ang adunay maanindot usab nga mahitabo diha sa ato ang kinabuhi. 
So in this race, don't forget, in this race, we are nganaata. God give us His grace, which is sufficient in us. God give us His word, the spirit of the of uh, the the sword of the spirit, and the anchor of our faith. He gives us the Holy Spirit who gives us also power sa ato ang matag kinabuhi. So all these are the way out that God is providing us in the midst of sufferings, trials for you and for me to endure. God is so good. He gives us this way out. Si Paul once again, ado na siya testimony, good report, mingingon siya. At my first defense, I mean, pagdara, pagtaral niya dito sa hukmanan, said, no one came to my support. Why nagpaluyo ka na ako? Gipasagdan ko nilang tanan. But everyone deserted me. May it not be held against them, but the Lord, look at that, but the Lord stood at my side and gave me strength. Hallelujah. Why me? Doa ka na ako, why ming suporta na ako, why ming paluyo ka na ako. Apan ang ginoo, the, the Bible says, naa sa akong kiliran. He stood at my side and gave me strength. Hallelujah. My friends, ladies and gentlemen, our God is not against you, He is for you. And like Paul says, the Lord is giving me strength as though that though through me the message might be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear and I was delivered from the lion's mouth the Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and will bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom our greatest future joy he will cost you Nga ikaw makaabot, makalahutay, makapadayon, muabot ka ni anang puntuha sa imong kinabuhi. Amen. Praise God. Point number three. Future joy fuels your thankful endurance. He will fuels ang ato ang mapasalamaton usab nga paglahutay. Nakahinomdom ko ni Jacob. When sa diha ming abot siya sa iyaha nga pariente nga si Laban og si Laban ming ingon ngadto kaniya just because you are a relative of mine should you work for me for nothing now tell me what your wages should be and look at this Jacob was in love with Rachel and said I'll work for you 7 years in return for your younger daughter Rachel the Laban said it's better that I give her to you that to some other men, stay here with me. In verse 20, so Jacob served seven years to get Rachel, but they seemed like only few days. The future joy of Jacob that time was Rachel. Munga ang iyahang seven years, though we know nga wa lang di lang seven years, but like 14 years ang iyahang gitrabaho ng to ni Laban. But ang tanan daw na himong mga pipila lang ka mga adlaw. Wa niya lang tawa ang gidugayon sa seven years. Ang gilantaw niya ang iyahang makuha after seven years. Mga alam ka niya, pipila lang ka mga adlaw. Ang iyahang gigugol ni Adtong Panahuna because of his love for her. Ang iyahang gilantaw, dili ang iyahang current situation of toil, of labor, ang tanan nga, nga taliwa sa kainit o uwan, baka itong panahuna sa pag-atiman, sa tanan mga trabaho nga naang iyang gihatag ni Laban nga ito kaniya. But no, he was not discouraged but the more he was encouraged. Paul in his experience in spite of all troubles, persecutions, nga yahang na sinatian, great pressures while doing the ministry, he never stopped because of his joy the people. Iyahang gihatagan o exhortation on church sa Corinth, but if we are troubled and distressed, it is for your comfort. It is for your salvation. Ang gilantaw ni Paul was not his, dili ang iyahang current situation. Ang focus ni Paul wa, ang dili ang iyahang current situation. Though, tinote, iyahang nasinatian, Pero the reason nga wa siya mo balik, wa siya mo undang because of the people. 
ang among kalisdanan, ang among mga pag-antos, sa it is alang sa inyong pagdasig usab for your comfort and for your salvation. Jerry Bridges put it this way, God never allows pain without a purpose in the lives of His children. He never allows Satan nor circumstances nor any ill-intending person to afflict us unless He uses that affliction for our good. God never wastes pain. He always causes it to work together for our ultimate good, the good of conforming us more to the likeness of His Son, transforming our lives into Christ's likeness. So once again, today we will be reminded of His Word. Let us look, let us not, let us not stop looking unto Jesus, the author, the finisher of our faith. And look at this, who for the joy that was set before Him endured the cross, despising the shame. Wa niya igsapayan ang maong kauwaw. Wa niya igsapayan ang tanan ng mga kasakit pagbugal-bugal na iyahang na dawat. Wa niya igsapayan ang tanan ng mga latos na iyahang na iaguman. Tungod kay aduna siya'y gilantaw na dakong kalipay human ni adtong hitabuan. Ladies and gentlemen, giantos niya ang paglansang kaniya sa cross, ugwa niya, igsapayan ang kauwaw, tungod kay gihuna-huna niya ang kalipay nga madawat niya unya. And I believe we were also in the mind of Jesus during that time. That's why He never gave up. Wa niya, wa siya mubalik dayon sa langit. Wa niya gibiyaan ang cross nga wa mahuman ang iyahang trabaho. I believe that during that time, my friend, ladies and gentlemen, ikaw o ako naa sa hunahuna ni Kristo that time. That's why every step that He made, meaningful alang sa matag-usa. Tungon kay anytime, Doon na ba siya ay kagawasan? Doon na ba siya ay katungod usab sa pagbiya dito? Ah, of course, because He is God. Apan wa niya buhata ka na tungod kay mas gitagaan niya og dakong bili ang kalipay sa unahan nga mao ikaw, mao ako, nga niini panahon na maybe that time sa unahon niya, oy, naarabay to, naarabay COVID-19 sa 2020. I will continue. I will not stop. You are in the mind of Christ. The reason that He never gave up. Para sa iyaha, oh, unsa ra man ang tulog ka adlaw? It's only three days. Karong panahon na pila lang ni kaoras, and then for three days, unsa ra man ang three days, itandi unya sa gidaghanon pa sa mga katuigan nga muabot alang sa kaluwasan sa mga katauhan. Not just for this any pandemic, kundili gikan nga maluwasta from the fire. You are the future joy of Jesus that time. And what is our future joy in Jesus Christ? Now, according to John Bloom, the very best possible future you could ever imagine if you will believe it, you will have the free gift of complete forgiveness for all your sins extending into forever. You will never have to merit your justification by keeping the law. You will have all your real needs provided while on earth. You will receive all the grace you need at all times so that you will abound in every good work God has for you. God will complete the good work He began in you. Another thing, you will be raised from the dead. This is our future joy in Jesus Christ. You will be raised from the dead and never ever die again. That means someday soon, you and I will see Jesus be with Him and be like Him for eternity. This is our great joy. Ito ang gitanaw ngadto sa unahan. Si Paul nag-inform alang nato, ingon siya. 
for this light momentary affliction adunay gaan og lumalabay lamang nga mga kalisdanan ganahan ko ni ini nga mga words kay sa tinud anay lang kung imong i-focus ang imong ang experience ni Paul makaingon ka gaan lang ba to okay lumalabay yes pero gaan ba to okay for us ato agani karon like sobra pa lang sa usa ka buwan pero ang atong experience murag usa na ka tuig okay dunay mga pasiaw nga basin ugma ko ana uh, maniga na ang mga christmas lights kay pasko na okay but don't get me wrong using the lens of this of our life here on earth tinuod dako bugat lisod nga dili lang ang pilipinas ang nagantos kundi halos tanang na kanasuran sa tibuok kalibutan it's quite difficult at, at that lens but for paul ang iyahang experience that time ang iyahang struggles that time bisan na ang mga situation nga mingabot sa, sa bingit sa kamatayon sa diha sa hapit na siya mamatay but for him oh, it's a light momentary affliction kining tanan nga atong nasinatian like paul is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. In other translations, they use the word helping us, producing us, achieving us, working in us. Alang ni ining usaka dako na panghitabo nga dili na to ikatandi sa bisan unsa nga mga panghitabo ni ining Kalibutana. Ladies and gentlemen, though our through pinaagi sa atong lumalabay lamang ng mga kalisdanan, the kingdom of God is most clearly shown here on earth sa dihang ikaw o ako, believers of Jesus Christ, gratefully suffers present earthly troubles tungod kay we see a future weight of glory which is coming for us that is our greatest future joy si david learn from david ang focus ni david dili lang dili lang ang uh, green uh, pastures dili lang still waters dili lang valley of the shadow of death dili lang table that was prepared uh, atubangan sa iyang mga dili lang overflowing cup dili lang oy focus ni David for David he says and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever in other words and afterward when my life is through I'll return to your glorious presence to be forever with you. Ang atong gilangto karon is mga temporary comfort. But my friends, I encourage you na atong lantawon pagyod ang umaabot pa ang dakong kahimayaan na mapakita sa matag usaka to be revealed to us. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord for ever in this time in times or in times like this face your future joy again it helps us to move on it helps us to keep on the in the race and it helps us or fuels our thankful endurance as we close this message this afternoon Jesus' eyes during that time were on his future joy. He got through the cross by not focusing on the cross, but on the promised joy that would result from it. Tinood, sakit, tinood, iyang gipasan, doon ay mga latos, ng iyahang, nahiaguman. Tinood, nga di lalim, ang iyahang nasinatian through the cross but not his focus is not on the cross but on the joy that was set before him ugmo po na ang gusto sa Dios alang matag usa ka nato ni ining panahon na ug sa tanang panahon 
we set our eyes on the future joy na iyang gisaad diha kanimo. That's why, consider him who endured such hostility from sinners against him. Focus on him. Think about him. Keep your eyes looking at him. Why? Because Jesus is our perfect example in times like this. In times of the oppositions, he endured. Again, because he was looking at that future joy that was set before him. Because of this, Jesus understands very well our pains, our troubles, our needs, our suffering. He understands it very well. He is our high priest who sympathizes with our weaknesses, with our trials, with our troubles, with our persecutions, with our pains. He is the high priest who sympathizes with us. Right now, we may have, in, we, we may have troubles. That's okay. Because Jesus himself said that you would. He says, in this world, you will have troubles. But our comfort, he says, oh, don't be discouraged. Don't be sad. Don't be afraid. Because I have overcome the world. Every time Paul experienced sufferings, he always considered, he always reminded himself, that for I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that is to be revealed to us. This crisis that we are facing, this losses that we are experiencing, with this pain that we are experiencing, this somehow mga nightmares, mga sleepless nights, maybe, he says, cannot be compared with the glory that is to be revealed to us. So in the meantime, all of us, regardless sa status sa imuhang kinabuhi, madato man, mapubre man, ulitaw, daga, minyo, batan on tiguang, maayog kahimtas kinabuhi, dagkugbay, gagmagbay, we are all facing, experiencing storm in life. And going back to our text, the second text we have, we are like a woman giving birth to a child has pain because her time has come. That's why I honored my mother so much. I love you so much, Ma. I honored them. I said, like a woman giving birth to a child has pain because her time has come. But when her baby is born, she forgets the anguish, the pain, that moment because of her joy that a child is born into the world. Her joy, yahang nakita. So worth it alang niya. Ang pag-utong, ang tanan. He Forget, she forgets the anguish because of the joy that the child is born into the world. That was her focus. I read one post in social media and it says, and I will quote, I heard that we are all in the same boat, but it's not like that. We are in the same storm, but not in the same boat. Your ship could be shipwrecked and mine might not be or vice versa. And for me, it's very true. But my prayer this afternoon that you are in a boat who believes in Jesus. Why? Because for we who believe Jesus, He gave us a future joy. So with you, now is your time of grief. We understand that the context of this verse, gihatag ni Jesus, during sa pipila na lang nahabilin ng mga oras before siya ilansang sa cross, before siya dad-on, o itaral, o padong paglansang sa cross, 
That's why do na siya pag-comfort ang gihatag nga to sa iyaha mga disciples. But I believe the same comforting words sa ginoo alang sa matag-usak ka na to sa pagkakaroon. Yes, it's our time for a grief. It's our time of pain, of our sufferings, whatever. But I will see you again. And you will rejoice. And no one will take away your joy. Hallelujah. When Jesus will come soon, sa ang tanang kalipay, ang naatong mabatyagan, ng atong masinatian, why bisan kinsa na ng makakuha ni ini. Amen. That's why let us continue looking unto Jesus. He will sustain us up to the end that you will see this eternal glory, the joy that will be revealed to us. Our challenge, our encouragement, just face your future joy. I don't know about you. Okay? Kung asa nakatutok ang imuhang mga mata. If you are in Jesus, well, what I am sharing to you right now, that is our truth, that's our hope, ng atong gikuptan. But how about you, nga never place his faith diha sa gino, place his life diha sa gino. I encourage you right now, I invite you, consider this, to have a relationship with Jesus. God is giving you the grace. Diyos na ako pagkahibaw, because nakakita ka, nagtanaw ka karon. He is giving you this time. And I hope you will respond it by opening your hearts to Him and invite Him. Surrender your life to Jesus and acknowledge Him as your Lord and as your Savior. Can you join me in prayer? Father, thank you that Lord, in the midst of this crisis, you remain faithful. Ikaw ginupadal nga naghigugma ka nako. I am a sinner, Lord. But I also believe na imong ipada si Jesus din is kalibutan alang ka nako. Lord, thank you for your grace that caused me to respond ni ining kahaponon. Ablihan nako ang putahan sa kong kasing-kasing ang dawaton ko ikaw na akong ginoo o personal nga manluluwa. Salamat sa kinabuhi na walay katapusan diha ka nimo. And Lord, be my Lord and be my Savior. Sa tibuok na akong kinabuhi agad while I'm looking, seeing, facing my future joy di hakanimo. Thank you for that hope. Help me indeed up to the end. In Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. I will close our prayer. Alam sa matagusa. Ginoo sa makausa pa. Giday ka namo. Gipasidunggan ka namo. Giamo ka ginoo nga gipasalamatan. Gituboy ka sa amo matagusa ka kinabuhi. Salamat ginoo sa imuhang kaayo. Salamat ginoo nga ikaw padayon nga nagahatag ka namo og buhi nga paglaom. Because ang among buhi paglaom mauman si Ginoong Hesus nga niining mga orasa buhi og nagalingkod sa iyang trono. Ginoo, tabangi mi sa pagtutok diha kanimo. Tabangi mi og Dios sa pagkonsiderar sa mga butang usab na amang hitabos amang kinabuhi nga dili gayod ikatandi unya gino sa himaya, sa himaya na imong ipakita ipadayag sa amo ang matag usa ka kinabuhi Lord help us to fix our eyes unto you Jesus for you never gave up on us you sustain us even up to now Father God as we face this another week salamat gino sa laing simana nga imong ipasinati na usab ka namo Nga ikaw ang Dios nga di gayud magkulang, ikaw ang Dios nga dili mo biya. Ikaw ang Dios Ginoo nga nagapadayon sa pagatiman sa imong mga kaanakan. Father, we commit this week the, uh, sa mga adlaw nga among pagatubangon diha kanimo. For apart from you, Lord, we can do nothing. Salamat sa mga kaigsuonan nga nag-join karon, especially Lord ni adtong mga Ah, uh, kaigsuonan usab namo nga miila kanimo ang ilang Ginoo personal nga manluluwas. Salamat sa gahom, salamat Ginoo sa kabag-uhan sa ilang kinabuhi diha kanimo. Og Lord, magkabag-uhan sa perspektibo usab sa mga butang ning kalibutana nga Lord, indeed we have a heavenly perspective nga imong ipadayag sa kanamo sa among kinabuhi. 
Lord, kukti ang usakan, matag usakan na mo. O Diyos, hangtod sa kahanturan, Lord, hangtod sa katapusan, mula hutay gayod kami. Dalay gun ka, ginoo, sa walay katapusan, ang tanan, kadungganag, himaya ka ni mo lamang. Sa pangalan ni Kristo Jesus. Amen and amen. And I would like also to pray sa tanan nga mga sa tanan nga mga nanay nga na, nagasaulog sa ilahang special nga adlaw karon. Father, salamat sa kinabuhi sa among mga nanay. Ikaw o oh Dios mag uh, sustain pag sa silang kinabuhi. Lord, they are blessing to us. Lord, sa tanan nga mga giagian usab nila nga mga nga mga hagit challenges kinabuhi diha sa ilang panimay. God, ikaw mag-sustain ka lang. Ikaw mag-panalangin sa ilahang kinabuhi. Ikaw ang Diyos ng kasandigan. Ikaw ang ilang kaalam, Lord. Ikaw labaw sa tanan. Ikaw ang ilahang tatay usab. Nurture them, Lord. Ingon nga mga nanay. Dalaygun ka. We thank you, Lord, for their lives. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Once again, friends, thank you so much for joining us for this uh, afternoon. And uh, I pray that you will have a fruitful week ahead of you. See you next week. God bless you. Thank you for listening and joining with us this Sunday afternoon. Are you blessed with today's message? Indeed, God's word is truly heartwarming and powerful. So let's continue to exalt the name of Jesus for the rest of the days this week. And we are really looking forward on seeing you next Sunday. See you everyone. And always remember, God loves you and God bless.